In the last video, we analyzed CB amplifier, CC amplifier, and CE amplifier in a shortcut manner. And we found input impedance, output impedance, and voltage gain. In this video, I will tell you what are the specifications of an ideal amplifier, whether these parameters should be high or low. Let us start. If I consider an amplifier, this is the voltage signal to be amplified Vs. Let it be internal resistance Rs. We connected this to an amplifier. But if you observe carefully, the signal which is being amplified is not Vs, that is Vb. Why? There is a loss across the resistance Rs. We don't want that loss. We should prevent it. Now if you observe this circuit, this is Vs. This is RS. This is input impedance. I can write like this. The voltage which is being amplified is VB. We need VB equal to VS. We need VS to be amplified, not VB. From this, I can write VB equal to VS into ZI by ZI plus RS. Guys, if you observe, if I take ZI equal to infinity, it will be ZI by ZI into 1 plus RS by ZI. This both will get cancelled. Since ZI equal to infinity, this will become 0. So our VB will become equal to VS. The condition is ZI is infinity. This is ideal case. In practical case, ZI should be very high. So if ZD is very high, the loss across RS is minimized. That's why our input impedance should be very high. Next, while coming to the output side, let this be output impedance or out. And this is our load resistance RL. Our amplified signal will come here. We need the same signal at the load resistance. If output resistance is very high, the signal is dropped here. So we won't get the whole signal. If output impedance is very low, there is very less drop across output impedance. So we will get the most part of the signal. Ideally, our output should be zero. If our output is zero, the signal which is amplified and signal what we are getting at the load resistance, the both are same. This is ideal condition, but in practical, our output should be very low. And while coming to amplifier, voltage gain should be high. This is the main condition for amplifier. Now tell me guys, input impedance should be very high. Output impedance should be, this is also called as driving capacity. Output impedance should be low. Voltage gain should be high. Now what I will do is, I will write these three parameters for CE amplifier, CB amplifier and CE amplifier and we will compare these three parameters for these three amplifiers and we will decide which amplifier is the best. But in the next video, guys if you like my explanation do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notification and if you like this video hit the like button that's it for now meet you in next video thank you